So Fernando Alonso has had a mixed season. There have been positive results, such as qualifying second in Canada as well as multiple top 7 finishes. But Alonso's season has been hurt by Alpine's reliability issues, and ahead of his move to Aston Martin next season, he's made quite a statement about Alpine. And on top of that, Lewis Hamilton's issued a new response following Alonso's remarks about his world titles. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. So to sum up the story of what happened, Alonso had suggested that Max Verstappen's F1 titles hold more value than Hamilton's due to the nature of competition at the time. He then later put out on Twitter that all the titles are amazing, well deserved and inspiring, although Hamilton responded to Alonso's previous comments by posting a picture from 2007 on Twitter that shows the Brit on the top step of the podium with Alonso below him, accompanied by a thumbs up emoji. And if you want to find out more about this, I'll leave a link to a video in the description. Now of course there is a rivalry between Hamilton and Alonso. After all, they were teammates in 2007, in which the two were caught up in quite a big scrap for the title. In the end, Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen won, with Hamilton coming home second in the standings and Alonso third. And over the years we've seen Hamilton and Alonso caught up in multiple on-track battles, with the two also involved in the title fight in the 2010 season. Now when Hamilton was asked about Alonso's comments on his titles, Hamilton said he's always tried to be respectful and found the comments interesting. He said, I don't really have a lot to say about it, it does make me giggle a little bit to be honest, but I have tried to be really respectful over the years, for example when you've ever asked me who's been the best driver against me, I've given praise, but it's definitely interesting to see the comments that are made, but it doesn't really matter, so that's why I kind of just put the thumbs up. Now this season the two were also caught up in a crash in Belgium, which saw Hamilton's car thrown up into the air and Alonso making harsh comments about Hamilton's driving on the radio. And what happens in Mexico marks the second time in two months that tensions have flared between the former teammates. So the Albin car has been quick this season, but it just hasn't been reliable enough, and if we look at what's happened to Alonso this season, there are multiple times where he lost out on points. I mean problems have really hurt him this season, and there have been multiple occasions where he's been running in good points positions before having to retire. This includes tracks like Saudi Arabia, Italy, Singapore and Mexico. There were also tracks like Australia, Austria and Canada where Alonso had pace to be nearer the front, but issues prevented that from happening. Now Alonso currently sits 9th in the driver's standings with 71 points, but he feels that he's lost more than 60 over the season due to issues through no fault of his own. And following Alonso's latest issue which saw him retire on lap 64 with a cylinder issue in Mexico while running in 7th place, it basically seemed to be like the last straw, with Alonso's frustration at his reliability record reaching a new peak. So much so, he made a comparison to the misery he endured when he drove a Honda powered McLaren. While now a world championship winning engine maker, Honda suffered poor reliability and lack of performance in their years with McLaren between 2015 and 2017. And Alonso was ruthless with his opinions at the time, even once branding the engine as a GP2 engine. Alonso was recently quoted by GP fans as saying, With Honda, we had like 72 penalties at the end of the year, so something like that. The thing with Honda, both cars were stopping. This year, it's only car 14. And when asked if he thought it was bad luck for him, Alonso was quoted by the race as saying, No, I think we're unprepared. The engine cannot finish the races, it cannot be bad luck when you have to change 6 or 7 engines as we did, and we're still not finishing the races. Now as we know Alonso is leaving Alpine at the end of this season and moving to Aston Martin, and he feels that Alpine do have some work to do to fix the problems for next year. Alonso added, I think they have some job to do next winter, hopefully not too much. Now Alpine team boss Otmar Safnau said another engine failure for Alonso in Mexico was luck of the draw, and apologised to Fernando, understanding his frustration. But guys that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.